Civil Engineering Academy, helping you in your journey to pass the PE. All right, welcome to Civil Engineering Academy. Today we're solving a problem from construction. The problem states a project consists of 10 activities as outlined below. All relationships are finished to start unless noted otherwise. The critical path for the project is what? And so here's our activities, A through J, durations, predecessors, and successors. First thing I'm going to do, and if you're using your civil engineering reference manual, this is all found in chapter 85 where it talks about schedules, budgeting, project management type stuff. And uh, specifically, 85-11 and 85-12. So the first thing I'm going to do is change this to an activity on node network. It just kind of makes more sense to me. So here's activity A. It has no predecessors. Activity B also has no predecessors. So I'm going to draw that in. Okay, its successors to A are C, D, and E. So we're going to have a C, D, E. C, D, E. To B, there's an H. I'll draw that over here. C, there's F. F. D, there is G. E, there is H. So it goes down here. F goes to J. J. G goes to J. H goes to I. And I goes to J. Okay, now we can just write in the durations. So this was 6, B is 4, C is 4, D is 5, E is 4, F is 6, G is 5, but it also says that it's got a free float lag of 8 when you come from D. So really, uh, this 5 is, I'm going to put slash 8. Really, when we add this up, we want to use this 8. That's part of the tricky part of this. H is going to be 4, I is 3, and J is 3. So the critical path is the path that takes the longest. So you have to go through all these routes and add them up. So this first route, A, C, F, J. Let's just add that up. That's 6 plus 4 plus 6 plus 3. That's 16, 17, 18, 19. How about A, D, G, J? Which is B, A, D, G, J. That's 6 plus 5 plus 8 plus 3. So that's 11. 1922. Okay. A E H I J. That's 6 plus 4 plus 4 plus 3 plus 3. That's 10, 14, 15, 16, 17. That's 20. 20 days. So those are the biggest ones. You could do this B H B H I J. That's 4 plus 4 plus 3 plus 3. And that only equals 8, 19, 11, 12, 13, 14. So their biggest, longest path here is this guy, which was A, D, G, J. A, D, G, J. That is answer B. That is your critical path. So I hope this helped you out. Um, there usually is a critical path type of question on the PE exam. So hopefully this helped better prepare you. Head on over to civilengineeringacademy.com for more tips and tricks. Thanks, bye.